American inventor and businessman Herman Hollerith was born in Buffalo, New York on February 29, 1860 to German immigrant Professor George Hellerith. Herman began his education at the City College of New York in 1875 and he graduated in 1879 with a degree in engineering from Columbia University School of Mines. Herman became a mechanical engineering teacher in 1882. At the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, he first conducted his punched card experiments. Herman left the job two years later and moved to St. Louis. At the same time, on a train to and from his journey there, he noticed that the conductor of the train would have to punch various small information into the ticket of each passenger. His experience at the train led him to seek a way to make data collation easy. Fortunately, at this time, he got employed into the United States Census Bureau and also filed for his first patent, which was titled Art of Compiling Statistics. His patent was approved in 1889. While at the census job, Herman was propelled by the director of the Census Bureau's Division of Vital Statistics, John Shaw Billings, to find a way to enter census data. So Herman developed a mechanism that could record information, which was described as a doctoral thesis of an electric tabulating system in 1889. His invention was initially used to tabulate medical statistics from the United States Army in 1890. It was also adopted for use by the Census Bureau for that year's election. He operated his business under his own name, the Hollerith Electric Tabulating System. He was awarded a PhD in the same year for his development of the tabulating system. But by the 1990s census, Hammond's invention had been revised with the improved tabulating machine saving American taxpayers $5 million and saving what would have been done in 8 years into 2 years. Hammond then founded his company, the Tabulating Machine Company, in 1896. He leased out and sold several of his machines and punched cards to several census bureaus all over the world. Also, in 1900 census, his machine was used by several countries including Puerto Rico, Germany, Canada, the Philippines, Norway, France, England, Italy, and Austria. One of Hermann's improvements to his original machine was to simplify the rewiring for different jobs. As the first one had been specifically hand-wired to function on the 1890 census cards, his inventions became one of the foundations of the data processing industry. With a sponge card used in later years for the input and output of computer and was used for almost a century. Four companies that were now involved in tabulating, including Hermann's firm, were joined to form a unified company, the Computing Tabulating Recording Company, in 1911. By 1924, under Thomas J. Watson, its president, the company was named International Business Machines, IBM, becoming one of the largest and most successful 20th century companies. Herman had his home in Washington, D.C., where he lived. He also owned a business building at 31st Street, which was later commemorated with a plaque by the IBM. Herman died of a heart attack on the 17th of November 1929 in Washington, D.C., and was interred at the Oak Hill Cemetery. Herman's invention began the era of semi-automatic systems of data processing. He is regarded as one of the figures who developed data processing. In his honor, the Hellerit cards were named after him as well as the Hellerit constants and the Hellerit strings. He is fondly remembered for making a major contribution through his tabulating machines to the development of modern digital computers. Thank you very much for watching our videos. We'll appreciate it if you subscribe to our channel and share this video with your friends. We love you.